Hello everyone, I am Lux. In this module, we are going to have a quick revision of Chapter 7 Human Memory. Memory refers to retaining and recalling information over a period of time. Depending upon the nature of cognitive task we are going to perform. Memory se hamara matlab hai jarurat ke hisab se time aane par information ko recall karna. A memory is a mental functioning by which we are able to retrieve information about events which have happened in our past. According to second perspective, memory ke teen interrelated process hote hain encoding, storage, retrieval. Encoding is a process by which information is registered in our memory system. Storage refers to the process through which information stays in our memory. Retrieval refers to bringing the stored information to one's awareness so that it can be used for performance. Agla topic hai Atkinson and Sifrin's stage model, jisko hum information processing approach bhi kehte hain. This approach explains process of human memory in the same way as computer does its processing. Aur inhone bataya ki koi bhi incoming information ko teen stages mein process kiya jata hai. Sensory memory, short term memory and long term memory. Information sensory memory mein iconic yani ki visual aur echoic yani ki sound ke form mein hoti hai. Iski storage capacity large hoti hai aur duration less. यानी कि लेस देन 1 सेकंड सेंसरी मेमोरी में आई इंफॉर्मेशन को अटेंशन देके उसको हम शॉर्ट टर्म मेमोरी में ले जाते हैं शॉर्ट टर्म मेमोरी की कैपेसिटी स्मॉल होती है और ड्यूरेशन लेस देन 30 सेकंड शॉर्ट टर्म मेमोरी में आई इंफॉर्मेशन का इलैबोरेटिव रिहर्सल करके हम उसे लॉन्ग टर्म मेमोरी में ले जाते हैं जिसकी स्टोरेज कैपेसिटी अनलिमिटेड होती है और ड्यूरेशन परमानेंट अप टू लाइफ टाइम होती है Next is Craig and Lockhart's level of processing view of memory. This view ne suggest that ki kisi bhi new upcoming information ko teen levels mein encode kiya ja sakta hai. That is structural, phonetic and semantic level. Analyzing information in terms of structural and phonetic feature are shallower processing level. On the other hand, encoding it in terms of meaning it carries is deepest level processing, that is semantic level. Next topic is type of long term memory. Let's understand types of long term memory with the help of this chart. Sensory memory and short term memory we have discussed earlier. Long term memory can be declarative or procedural. Information pertaining to name, fact, date etc are part of declarative memory example riksha has three wheels procedural memory refers to memory related to procedure for performing various tasks for example how to make a tea declarative memory can further be divided into two parts episodic memory and semantic memory memory relating to our personal life experience comes in episodic memory Semantic memory is a memory of general awareness and knowledge. All ideas, rule and logic are stored in semantic memory. Next is dual coding hypothesis. If you call the word school, the image of your school will get generated in your mind. In fact, all concrete object generates image. And abstract concept assume a verbal code. Jo bhi cheez concrete form mein hoti hai, like word peacock. Jab hum peacock bolenge to humare mind mein uski ek image tayar ho jayegi. And the abstract concept like word truth and honesty will be assumed verbally. Our next topic is memory as a constructive process. According to Bartlett, a British psychologist, memory is not only a reproductive process but also a constructive process. Because all the stored information undergoes continuous change and construction within one's past knowledge. Nature and causes of forgetting Hermann Ebbinghaus observed that course of forgetting follows a pattern. That rate of forgetting is maximum in first 9 hour, particularly in first hour. After that rate slows down and not much is forgotten. Causes of forgetting are Forgetting due to trace decay Forgetting due to interference Forgetting due to retrieval failure
Now the last topic is enhancing memory. Memory can be enhanced. There are various strategies for improving memory called mnemonics. The mnemonics can be classified as mnemonics using image and mnemonics using organization. Mnemonics using image use keyword method and the method of loci. Whereas mnemonics using organization enhance memory by first letter technique and chunking. So this was the quick revision of chapter 7 human memory. The brief explanation of chapter will be out soon. Thank you and if you learn something from us then please subscribe our channel. तेरे यार बथे मेरा तू ही